Tis true, my form is something odd. But blaming me is blaming God. Could I create myself anew? I would not fail in pleasing you. If I could reach from pole to pole, or grasp the ocean with a span, I would be measured by the soul, the mind's the standard of the man. Scene one, an excellent consolation prize. Frederick Treves, your new lecturer in anatomy. Age 31, books on scrofula and applied surgical anatomy. Hmm. I'm happy to see you rising, Mr. Treves. I like to see merit credited, and your industry, accomplishment, and skill all do you credit. Ignore the squalor of Whitechapel, the general dinginess, neglect, and poverty without, and you will find a continual medical richesse at the London Hospital. We study and treat the widest ranges of diseases and disorders, and are certainly the greatest institution of our kind in the world. The Empire provides unparalleled opportunities, as places cruel to life are the most revealing scientifically. Add to our reputation by going further, and that'll satisfy. You've bought a house. On Wimple Street. Good. Keep at it, Treves. You'll have an FRS and a hundred guinea fees before you're forty. You'll find it is an excellent consolation prize. Consolation? I don't know what you mean. I know you don't. You will. A happy childhood in Dorset. A scientist in the age of science. In an English age, an Englishman. A teacher, a doctor at the London. Two books published before my 31st year. A house, a wife who loves me. And my 100 guinea fees before I'm 40. Consolation for what? As of the year 1884 AD, I, Freddie Treves, have excessive blessings. Or, so it seems to me. <laughs> 